Hi, and welcome to our tutorial series to get you started on Test Monitor. These videos are designed to show you how to use the main features of Test Monitor, and will help you to set up your first test project. In this third video, we're going to create test suites and test cases. A test case defines what must be done to verify a particular feature or functionality of your software application. When its preconditions are met, Testers use a series of instructions to check the software's behavior against its expected result. Test cases are usually based on one or more requirements or risks. When they are linked, they can help you determine whether or not a requirement is met or a risk is mitigated. In the previous videos, we created a project and defined requirements and risks. Now, we are going to design test cases. Let's get started. First, click on the Design menu item you'll be taken to the Test Suites Overview page. Test cases are grouped by test suites. Depending on the nature of your project, you can use different criteria. You could, for instance, define a test suite for different test types, like functional tests, smoke tests, and authorization tests. You can group test cases by scenario as well. Smaller projects might only need one test suite. Bigger ones need a multitude of suites. Create a test suite by clicking on the green button in the top right. A dialog box will appear, where you can enter the name of the suite and, optionally, its description. Click Save to confirm. The new test suite is now listed in the overview. To manage the test cases for a specific test suite, you click on the Title or the Chevron button on the right. You'll be taken to the Test Case Overview. Once there, you'll see two tabs. The Test Cases tab allows you to manage the test cases for this test suite. The Details tab is similar to any detail page and allows you to edit the name and the description of the test suite. It also contains an activity log that lists every change made to this suite, along with the user responsible and time of change. To delete this test suite, you can open the three-dot menu in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Delete Test Suite and confirm your action. Once removed, you'll be taken back to the Overview page. Now it's time to add a test case. Click on the Add Test Case button in the top right corner. A dialog box will appear. Enter the test case name, and optionally, you can enter a time duration in minutes, which is an estimate of the turnaround time to complete this test case. Next, we're going to add some instructions. When you've written down the first step, you can add additional steps by clicking on the green button marked with a plus sign. Specify as many test steps as needed for the test case. Click on More to reveal some extra, optional fields. Enter preconditions, test data, and an expected result. At this stage, you can link requirements, risks, and applications as well. Use the Draft toggle to indicate this test case is still incomplete. After saving the test case, it will be displayed in the Test Case Overview. To edit a test case, click on the Code or the Chevron button on the right side. This will show the detail page, containing all the properties and related objects for this test case. Editing is simple. When you hover over a field that's editable, a pencil icon will appear next to the field's value. Click on the field, update its value, and click the Save icon to update. You'll also notice the Attachment field, which allows you to upload files related to your test case. These are shown while running a test. Attachments can be very useful when you want to include a reference design or a screenshot that helps the tester evaluate the test case in a better way. At the bottom of the page, you'll find multiple tabs, showing you related requirements, risks, applications, and related test runs. We're going to talk about adding test cases to test runs in the next video. You can delete the test case by opening the drop-down menu on the top right. In the menu, click on Delete and confirm your action you'll be taken back to the overview once the test case has been deleted. Another way of viewing and editing test cases without leaving the test case overview is by using the sidebar. This can be especially useful when you quickly want to update a single property or refer to a field that's not in the overview. Click on the Test Case row in the overview to reveal the sidebar. You can edit a field by clicking on the value, changing the input, and clicking on the Save icon to confirm the update. You can switch between test cases by picking another one from the overview. The sidebar will remain open until you click the cross button on the left. While the sidebar usually contains the most important properties, the detail page will always contain the complete set of fields and related objects.
In the overview, there are a couple of extra features that make the test case management easier. You can duplicate a test case quickly by opening the drop-down menu next to the Chevron button. Click on Clone and confirm your action to create a copy of the selected test case. The clone will also copy attachments and linked relations, such as requirements. You can move a test case quickly to another test suite by using the Move action. Importing test cases allows you to add multiple test cases using an Excel sheet or CSV file. Open the three-dot menu left of the Add Test Case button. In the menu, click on Import. A wizard will guide you through the process of uploading a file and mapping the sheet's columns. When your import is accepted, you'll receive a notification once it's complete. Exporting test cases provides a way to save your test suite contents to an Excel sheet or CSV file. Open the same menu again and select Export. Select a file format and click on Export. Once your export has been processed, a download link will be presented. Finally, there is the option to edit multiple test cases at once using batch selection. In the test case overview, tick the checkbox on the left. Next, click on the multi-select button in the toolbar and select a batch action. For example, you can pick the remove draft action to remove the draft state for your entire selection. You can change more properties by picking the update action like assigning requirements or updating the test case duration. The delete action will delete every test case you've selected. This concludes the third video in this series. In the next video, we are going to assign test cases to users by planning milestones and test runs. Thank you for watching and happy testing.